Okay, now let us talk about the President of the United States and the White House, their celebration of Pride Month. No, I was unable to upload for a while because I had a strike on the channel, okay? But, you know, I'm not going to let this slide. Because these people, they are setting you up. America, they are setting you up. And not just America, but the West, right? You see, when it comes down to the LGBTQ, when it comes down to same-sex relation and all that follows it, you need to understand it is a poison chalice and they know it, right? They know it. Once you embrace the same-sex lifestyle and everything that follows it, you're basically pushing the most die off your land. No, it's not enough to invade the West, right? You can invade the West, but you won't necessarily conquer the West. The part that the history book leaves out is that when these various ancient civilizations were going conquering lands and people, first up, they've got to sell them the battery. They've got to separate them from their God. They've got to get them into child sacrifice, same sex, um, p um, bestiality, pedophilia, and everything that goes against the most high. Because the more a people indulge in these activity, the further away the most high is from you. Right? So it is important to friend these people and push these ideology on them and tell them to accept it because it's a forward thinking and to get your very own government that is supposed to look out for your best interest to push and promote it, right? So when you see a government is going to celebrate this lifestyle like this, you realize the destruction of the West is coming and the destruction of the United States of America is imminent, right? It is imminent. A lot of you will say love is love, love wins. That's that's good and well, right? It's your life, live or you please. But it is my job to let you know that you are walking into a burning house. It is a trap, right? They are getting you to celebrate the very same thing that caused a war in heaven. They are getting you to celebrate your demise because... A lot of you feel very comfortable and bold because your government says it is okay. Your government says okay. Your government is celebrating it. Your government is encouraging it. But the most I says no. Right? And he's not saying no because he wants to stop your fun. He's been mean. He's been horrible. He's saying no to it because it goes against everything he stands for. And it also affects you spiritually. A lot of you might feel that you're okay and everything is well with you. No, everything is not well. Everything is not well. Because when you take part in these sexual debauchery, what it does, it opens you up for dark matter. It opens you up for dark energy. Right? So when you feel that you're okay, it's not that you're okay. These energies can lay dormant inside of you. It doesn't destroy everybody it comes in contact with. Because if it did, then no one will pick up the lifestyle. Right? And when you look and see how the White House, the President of the United States, how they celebrate this thing with various um, popular celebrities publishing photos, and the enjoyment, and they don't even realize it is their demise. A nation that stands with the most high is a nation that cannot be defeated. And let me tell you something. When those fallen angels that are locked away by the river Euphrates, when they are released and they join the armies of man, and they come against the west, if the most high is not standing with you, you will fall and you will go into slavery. That is how the story is going to go. Whether you like me, you love me, understand I'm here to tell you. It is not all fun and games and love and light and all laughter and everything that is positive and love is love. It is a trap. 
right? And if you are inclined to be that way, that is your own personal business. It is not for social media. It is not for everyone. It is not something that you go out and celebrate. It is your own personal business. I try to warn a lot of you, right? And they call me all sorts of phobia, all sorts of disrespect. But best believe when China and Russia invade, the party will stop. Because your group will be the first group that they're coming for. And the very same people that you are eating and drinking with will have no choice but to hand you over. And it will be brutal. Right? Because it is a spiritual war. And they are coming with these fallen angels. So the more righteousness that is on the land, right? The, the more righteousness means that these entities cannot enter to destroy your people and destroy your land with ease. They can't. You stand with the most high. So therefore they cannot conquer you. Right? We need to pray. You can't say nobody warn you. As I say, glory be to the most high.